All right, it's been a while, isn't it? It's been a very long time since I uploaded a video. Uh, that time is now over. Today, I'm going to be looking at the ALM Busy Circuits Squid Salon Pool. Very annoying, the, the little L that's like in the middle of it, uh, because people think you don't know what you're doing when you're saying the word sample. It is actually Salon Pool. Um, it is a sampler. I don't know if this is real or true, but it gives me huge old school Akai S950 vibes when I'm using it. Very clicky, tiny little screen to do all the stuff on, but I love it and I've been using it as a sampler. However, I've just neglected the fact that it is also a CV sampler, so I can sample control voltages like envelopes and LFOs, which is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to be using the squid sample. I'm just going to call it sample because the L annoys me. I'm just going to be calling it the squid sample. I'm going to be using that to sample envelopes from the Pittsburgh modular life forms. The reason I'm doing this is because I also just recently bought the ALM again, uh, MCO, which is a digital oscillator. Love the sound of it, but you just need something to trigger it with to like open it. So I've got a basic Dope for VCA. I think it's the 130-2 uh, dual VCA from Dope for. So the output of the MCO is running into that. But then to open it, I'm just going to use one of the envelopes that I sample. So how it's going to work is uh, another ALM module. I love ALM, which is the Pamela's new workout is going to be in charge of the triggers. So I just press play on that and it will send a trigger. Uh, I'm going to trigger the track that I sample the envelope onto to ping the envelope. That is going to come out into the VCA to open the VCA. And in turn, hopefully we'll hear some sound from the MCO. So yeah, it is awesome. I've been using it quite a lot recently and there's not a lot of like videos that I've seen on it. There's a lot of people using the sampler as a sampler, but not a lot of people using it to trigger other things with. The good thing about doing it with this, just quickly before I start, is that because it's just a sampler, every slot you've got eight slots yeah so eight different samples that you can load in for one like program so that's the akai way um one bank of sounds so you get a bank of eight noises but if you make those a bank of eight envelopes you still get the same parameter control so you get speed how fast or slow that envelope opens and closes which is awesome for stuff like generative music and constant change you also get reverse you get looping forward and back forward back all of it you get sample rate conversion or like pulling down the sample rate you can also pull down the bit depth it's the level of it it's excellent so like you've got full control over it and all of those parameters are cvable within the sampler itself so just to recap i'm going to be using alm squid sample to sample some envelopes and lfos and stuff from the life forms from pittsburgh modular i'm then going to use the pamela's new workout to trigger that to happen or to ping that that is then going to open a vca which has got the mco from alm lots of abbreviations today the digital oscillator so that's going to ping that to open giving it the envelope that i choose at the speed i choose and how i choose to do it so let's go okay so here we are uh we have the array of things just here so first of all here, Pamela's new workout. We then have the MCO oscillator and then the squid sample. I'm going to be using this to sample this envelope just here. So this is the envelope I'm going to use. It's a full ADSR uh, and I'm going to be triggering it into here. So right, let's get straight into this. Uh, let's undo, this is my normal lead um, which goes under the rack so I can basically sample anything out of the computer through the patch bay or any of the equipment. Uh, I'm going to unplug that. Uh, now, I'm going to take a couple of cables uh, and I'm going to plug, let's take a couple of longer ones just to be on the safe side. Here we go. I'm going to take a the output of this envelope and put it in to the signal in of the uh, squid. So now the output of that is coming into this. Now what I need to do is take a trigger. So this is going to trigger the envelope to open and close so as soon as i press record if i just hold uh shift and record we get this little monitoring thing that comes up i don't know if you can actually see that very well but it is basically giving us uh, some indication as to some incoming level because this is extremely loud uh, compared to some other envelope generators i don't know why uh, i'm going to turn it all the way down so now, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample this envelope. So hopefully you can see we've got very fast attack. I'm going to slow that attack down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have the decay of maybe one o'clock, uh, the sustain down to about nine o'clock, and then a very quick release. So now when I press record, it's going to say to me, do you want to record? I'm armed. Um, I say yes. Ready? Uh, nice. So let's go in uh, and have a look at that. So. As you can see, it's recorded our envelope for us. So 
if I zoom in a bit, you can see we've got a nice slow attack. We've then got a very smooth decay down to what looks like, if I just go to the end, um, yeah, just a dead stop from where I'd stopped it. Um, this is a very long envelope. It can be very, very long, but this is envelope one. So uh, let's just try this out first of all. Let me get one of my leads just here. Now I'm gonna come out, because that is number one. I'm gonna come out one, and I'm gonna put that into the CV of the VCA. So if I just turn this up, you'll hear the oscillator, right? But I need it to ping this open. So when I press one, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna trigger that now with Pam's new workout to save me pressing it for ages. Awesome, let's turn the volume of this up. So at the moment, the VCA is all the way up. I can go into the actual envelope here, look, and turn it up. Pretty good, right? I can change the speed. Slow it down. All from one envelope. So you can see how good this can be. Now, I can come back in. To the start point. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. Let me slow down the BPM here a bit. Nice. So we can see the full length of that envelope now. Let's change the speed again. Pretty nice. Let's reverse that envelope. Yeah, that's not going to happen now because it's so low at the bottom. Uh, if I reverse it, but just put the speed up. We get that ramp up because it's going a lot faster now. But you can see how much control you get, let's put that back in, over the envelope. So now let's go in and put a loop in. Turn the loop on. Let's forward and back. Just forward. So I've now got a looping LFO, basically. It's all a looping envelope, but with an LFO that's that shape, uh, which is awesome. Um, so, right, let's empty all that out. Speed normal, volume down. Let's take loop off. Change the end time. Now I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to go to channel two. So go to channel two, and I'm going to do a really snappy, very, very snappy envelope. So extremely, like, ding, plucky. Uh, so go to track two. Uh, I can do exactly the same thing now. All I've got to do is go to record, press OK. Done. Come into this one, and now you can see, if I go to two, ping two. Nice, let's put that BPM up a bit. Change the volume. Change the speed. Real big pluck. Let's change the end point. Cool. Now I can get fake delays with this. So I'm going to take this trigger out, right? Just so we don't have to trigger it. I'm just going to trigger it manually. I'm going to put this into loop mode. So it's going to loop once, so change the loop point, change the end. Now, right, see that loops on. All I've got to do now to make this have like a fake delay is put some decay up. Okay, good that is. A bit more decay. So I get like a... Sweet. So I'm going to play that again. Let's put this down a lot slower, just for the sake so you can see it. Oh, let's trigger it. Forgot to plug that in. So let's go eight on the trigger.
just mess around with a little filter that it's going through for a bit. Let's get some effects around it, a little bit of clouds reverb. A little bit of disting ping pong. Black hole reverb. just controlling this one so you can see how smooth this could be right just out of sight i've just got a um generator uh, generating some uh, aeolian minor notes so i've got coming out here you can see just this one here um this is uh, sending a random pulse voltage out to um sorry a random uh wave uh, out to a quantizer i'm going to have the quantizer coming out and I'm going to put that quantizer into the MCO's voltage per octave. Just get a melody. More delay. Nice bit more volume. Nice, so using this to control pretty much everything. Yeah, big fun, right? Big, big fun. Um, actually, I quite like this one for generative. Nice bit of reverb and delay. You've got quite a nice sort of backing sort of sound there. And let's go back into here, let's turn this up a bit. I oh, know we need to be in one, don't we? There we go. Change the waves. Sweet. So I was going to go and buy a load of... Let me turn this down. It's getting annoying now, isn't it? Shut up. So yeah, I was going to go and buy some more envelopes. Uh, and what's the point? Because I could just sample a load of envelopes that I've got and manipulate them more. Eight slots. So these last three, right? Uh, six, seven, and eight. Even though you can change the speed of all of these, here you have a full knob for speed change, uh, which is incredible. So let me just do that now. Let's go to let's go to number six, just the first one, uh, and we're going to now let's sample another envelope. Very fast decay, no sustain, hardly any release, and a fairly slow attack. Here we go. Right, ready. Nice. So on six, uh, we have this. So let's come out of six instead. Plug this into six. Press play. Nice. Give it some volume. Speed. Now I'm going to modulate that with an LFO just quickly. This will probably sound shocking. I could have used an LFO of its own, but... Turn the effects back up. I don't know if you can actually see the actual screen. Let me try and zoom in a bit. So you can hopefully see if I move that out of the way. Yeah, the different speeds at which it's going through that. So yeah, you can kind of see the potential here uh, with just sampling waveforms that are slower <laughs> than audio rate. So yeah, sampling an envelope. We didn't even get into sampling LFOs, but basically I just like to sample an envelope uh, and then put it into loop mode to make my own LFO with weird timing and shapes and stuff. So yeah, ALM, squid, sample, sample, just sample. There you go, sample. Now this is just purely ALM. Okay, fair enough. I'm using Adobe for VCA, but 
it's uh, sick. Um, very, very, very awesome to be doing things this way instead of using more envelope generators. So yeah, I'm going to set up a load of these uh, and then make an ambient patch for the day. But yeah, I thought I'd just give you an insight into uh, something that I think is missing in terms of video and how sick something like this is. So again, I'm just going to play it once. Remember, I'm using one trigger, one envelope, modulating the um, time of that envelope, uh, and it's opening uh, the envelope for the MCO, which is just playing C minor random notes. Sweet. See you later.